Hello everybody, I'm Jimmy Fantastic. Welcome to the patch 64.2. This is a this is a great patch, I think. Loads of balance changes and a new hero. There you go, Apocalypse starts with 50 life. When you reach level six, you devour all your characters and then get random level six characters. Um Yeah. It's interesting, right? Because you've got to uh it it's kind of cool that you just focus on on you know winning each fight and like not only will XP spells be more important to get level six earlier, but also just like combat spells because you you really want to just get there with a high health total as well as fast as possible with a high health total. The problem is like you can really get screwed with the RNG, can't you? Thought you get like lordies and stuff, so uh, and you know no synergy. Like you know you'll get a pumpkin and a good boy and stuff, and it's gonna be really weird. <laughs> <laughs> it can be really weird. Like, I guess you, you've got a good chance of getting an Ashwood Elm and, like, a tree or something, but really weird. Like, it's going to be so weird. Uh, Echo, like, is not going to really be that big, is it? So, it'll give you something to work with, but I don't think the payoff is going to be that big. Uh, nice that you've got an extra 10 health to play with, but uh, there you go. A new, a new level 5 treasure. You may just have less breath, cast a random spell. I mean, that's pretty good, isn't it? The monster book has that, and it's a terrible creature. What, 10-4? Um, base, uh, combined, like, compared to Nian, which is a 10-10, which is maybe the baseline for a tier five. So it's actually, uh... well, in fact, uh, the Siren is like a 12-12, right? With a, I don't know, 10-10, with, an ability, so th they value this quite highly. The, the the devs obviously value this quite highly. Uh, cast a random spell on mass breath, and you know this is obviously a big facilitator for mage mage teams, isn't it? Um, interesting. Interesting. This is a so here we go. Balance changes. This is a great change for Sporko. He was so terrible as a one three. I never ever wanted to take him, even when I got him like for free, and then I didn't want to buy two more to triple him. I didn't want to buy him for two with with Lucky. Um, yeah, Lucky. So now that he's got three attack, I did take him sometimes uh, for Fallen Angel when he actually got plus attack, um, but that was pretty much the only time. Or like with Needle, needle or Staggers or something, you just desperately needed the attack. So now it's great that he starts with the uh, starts with three attack, makes him so much better. And same with Lady of the Lake. Lady of the Lake was only a card that you would take when you had a, a good boy, usually. And now, with three attack, it can actually do something. Uh, this was like... I also kissed into a Lady of the Lake, and it was like the worst thing possible to kiss into. So, um, yeah, that's, that's, that's a lot better. It can actually do something offensively now. It's funny somebody said that I undervalued Sheep and Wolf's clothing, but obviously not, because it's been buffed. Um, a 2-2 two -two base. Summons a 6-6. Six, six. This is nice that it doesn't get killed by the zero, uh, falling stars, isn't it? Zero damage, one damage to everything anymore. Um, or the uh, meteor thing. <laughs> uh, the, the treasure that does one damage to everything. So yeah, it was a little weak for level 4. I always thought that. I still think it's a little weak, but at least it's a bit better. Puff Puff's made 7-7 seven, seven base. Interesting. Another buff buff for the Puff Puff. Um... I'm still not really going to use them ever, but at least it's it, it's got more stats. Uh, you know, seven seven stats is it's kind of okay, isn't it? It's not great. Lightning Dragon's now a ten one, so it can kill sirens, uh, as it says. Bear Stein and Sudden Siren. That's so nice, isn't it? Like it's a bit weak at Lightning Dragon. I, I think making it ten two again would be a lot better, so that you don't get the uh, you don't get killed by the Ringing Meteors or the, uh, the Falling Stars. And same with Olga Princess has got that extra. I think it's a big, a big difference getting that extra pip of toughness is, is actually a huge deal for that, those random spells and treasures. Um, so that makes it a little bit better because I, I never really, very, very rarely took it to be honest. The Olga Princess, um, Trojan Donkey, get a plus one, plus one. That's good because that was pretty weak. Only really took it on on uh, Wonder Waddle to try and get tier three treasures. Uh, <laughs> yeah, very, very rarely used. Humpty Dumpty's now a 7-7. That's really good now, isn't it? Um, that, it was the fact that Tiny could trade with it made it a lot worse. I think it's a lot more tempting to take now. It's a lot harder to lose it in the early rounds. Um, and it's really not that bad, right? You're only losing one gold. 
uh, overselling another th character. So it obviously can screw you over if you if you're down characters after it. But overall, I think it's probably worth a lot more worth taking eggs now. An eight eight for a uh, Eeny Meeny or uh, Mrs Claus. Uh, Tweedledee has changed from a four one one four into a three two two three. Which is probably good, isn't it? I mean, I don't really understand what that means in the allocation of stats. I guess, again, it doesn't get killed by Ring of Meteors. Um, which is nice. Um, and redesign the mummy. I think this is a huge change here. So it was it was ridiculous when it uh, when it did fall damage to all enemy characters. Like, that was insane. It would wipe boards, especially when you, like, kissed into it or... Polywoggled into it early, whatever. If you or, uh, masquerade ball, if you if you got this early, it was kind of crazy. It was wiping boards out. Now it deals damage equal to its attack to a random enemy. So it's really, it's, I think it's really good um, as a tier three. It's already really good. Um, then when you think you can like you know use Mim or something to give it more attack, uh, monster book, you know any any treasures that give it more attack, any supports that give it more attack. Um, becomes really good and also copycat can be really good with it um, yeah, it seems a lot better than mummy because mummy was tier 5 and that was the problem that, that the mummy had like yeah it was really good but it was really good for a few turns whereas now this is going to be good for a lot more turns because you can get it on 3-1 and, uh, and you know really hit people with it a lot princess P is gone thank god she was really rubbish like she, she could get massive but like it was so weird, I I didn't like it, and I'm glad glad that she's gone. This is the biggest thing though, because Slay was absolutely dominant. Forcing Slay every game was the best strat in the old meta, and now that is gone. So that's brilliant. It was proven to be simply too much, and yeah, now it's actually it. You know, you've actually got to get the Slays with your chippers and stuff, rather than just triggering them with Grimsoul. It stops the uh, the. Yorm variant makes Yorm look quite significantly worse, I guess. Stops you getting easy polywoggles, upgraded polywoggles um, on like every, you know, Wonder Waddle particularly. Um, so that's interesting. Not that people were really doing it because they were just running all running Slayer, but you know. <laughs> um, and they'll try and bring it back, so that's nice. Um, Mordred has got a bit more health, that's good because he was terrible. So. Um, getting more health is good. Zell Hua was terrible and he gets a bit more health. Old Dragon was terrible and he gets a bit more health. <laughs> Murte was terrible and he gets a bit more health. So I like this because the hero balance is pretty off. Um, and also removing health gain from heroes from it was all a dream, which is which is huge because it was always great to mask to mask into a grandmother for the extra ten health. So now important, like you know, these are all great characters to mask into, but terrible ones to start as. So it makes sense that you don't get both benefits when you uh, dream into them, to be fair. Grandmother now gets plus five, plus five. I really don't think that's enough. I think it probably should be plus six, plus six. And it fits with being level six, right? But it's, at least it's better than plus three, plus three, which was a marginal ability. It was mostly just the ten, the ten health. It was mostly masking the ten health is all Grandmother was good for. Notice they've taken away the you start with 50 health thing because they've just got 50 there. Uh, Miri has got a slight nerf there. It's still good. Plus one, plus two is still good. Um, I still think Miri's going to be strong. Um, just not as strong as it was, and it's still going to suck when you occasionally miss. And then Galahad, huge. This is actually a massive nerf for Galahad, isn't it? Losing half of the attack that he got. It's a massive, massive nerf to Galahad. Uh, but Galahad was really super strong, so I guess that's okay. Um, this is a massive nerf to skip. And it's funny, I think here they've, they've been influenced by the best players. Because the best players love skip and, uh, you know, really rate him highly. But, you know, when we, we track the stats of lots of players uh, on, on, a, on a spreadsheet of, like, varying abilities. And most people aren't really that good with skip. And now that he's only getting plus 2 XP, I just really don't think that's going to be worth the hit of skipping your first round so I think you might have to start with more health uh, to balance this out a little bit but also it's going to be a great thing it's going to be a great buff to mask basically because less people are going to take skip now and there's more chance of mask to get skip so yeah these three have consistently been in the top five yeah interesting 
Cursed King. So there you go. This is kind of interesting, right? It was one damage around. Now he only takes it if you don't buy a spell. That's really pretty cool. Because you're pretty much always going to be able to cast a spell in the early rounds. And then... Uh, because you're getting the extra gold, aren't you? So, so I think he's going to play pretty cool because you're getting this gold, but you're going to have to cast it, use it to cast spells. So it's like he's not just a straight up braid. He's not just like getting the gold to roll through. He's he's actually got to cast spells with it, uh, and he can still like not cast spells sometimes and take the occasional bit of damage. Uh, notice he he can take it if you have uh, one, two, or three health left. He, so he can kill you by not playing a spell. So that's. Maybe a bit unintuitive and maybe something they should think about fixing. Um, I'm not fixing, just changing because it's going to be very frustrating when people are on like two health, don't cast a spell and die, and they're, they're going to not enjoy that um, a lot. This is a really cool change for beauty, I think. Really cool change for beauty. Um, oh god, right. Yeah, many monsters don't work with this change. All evil synergy cards work with beauty. All your evil characters are good, and your abilities that affect evil characters affect good characters. So this is crazy, right? Because you can have Queen of Hearts will count good characters dying. And like good characters are generally better than bad evil characters. Except for the evil queen. So, like Peep, you can have Peep fueling a, an evil queen is kind of crazy. Get Godmother as well, so you get Godmother and Evil Queen on the same team, both getting pumped. Then you, then you can get uh, the pumpkin and the good boy all pumping everything. Like, it's kind of crazy, right? Grumble Gore pumping a good boy's attack. Um, Ashwood Elm, you know, with good boy, with no problems. It's going to be very cool, I think. Very cool. Much, much better than it was. I, whether it's going to be good, good enough, I don't know. But it's, it's, it seems very cool. Potion Master. This is this is a good change that they've made it a plus one plus one because if they kept it plus two plus two, it would have definitely hundred percent be overpowered. Um, but now your shop uh, sells an extra spell. I mean, this is just going to be great, right? For getting XP, getting um, you know, Beauty's influence is often very powerful. Um, is like a nice one to cast. And so you're getting more spell selection as well as getting the like the plus one plus one bonus isn't that good. But the selling an extra spell is really good. So when you combine them, it's great as well, isn't it? Obviously, if you get hatball, it's gonna be it's gonna be great with hatball. So yeah, I think this is a great change for potion master. Really great that he gets an extra. Yeah, it hits a bit less hard, but more consistent, and that's what you need. You need consistency, I think. Geppetto has got an upgrade, and uh, I mean it's great, isn't it? It's worse at level two right at the start. You're only getting plus two, plus two, and your black cats. But then as soon as you hit Peep, you're already on three, so Peep is just the same instantly. And then once you hit four and five and six, it gets better and better. Um, I think he's still overall going to be bad. It mostly just depends how many little peeps you find, basically. Uh, very hit or miss. He's, still, he's always going to be very hit or miss because if you don't get if you don't get Princess Peep, you're in. There. You're feeling bad. Book of Heroes has been improved, and I used to take it sometimes for plus one plus one. Like it's not terrible, I think, as plus one plus one. Um, like I'm never really happy about taking it, so plus one plus two is a nice little buff. Um, yeah, because it's, it's really not very good. Sword of Fire and Ice, I always felt was was very uninspired. Uh, I would I would take it if the other two choices were rubbish, and I still probably only gonna take it if the other two choices are rubbish. Six isn't gonna have that much of an effect. Um, Summoning Portal is weird because again, it doesn't really need. It, first of all, it's not very good. And second of all, you're not really probably going to take it at four anyway. I guess maybe if like you, uh, if you triple a hippo, you could take it. But summoning portal was something I'd take off tripling a bear sometimes if I had loads of summons. Or I guess a uh, parrot wasn't there? Not a parrot, a vulture, the bearded vulture maybe. You could do that, but it's just not a very good treasure, so it makes sense to drop it. Um, drop it down by one. Here we go. Piggy Bank is actually a very nice, very nice change. At the end of each round, you get plus one gold for every five you save, so it's actually giving you money as well. So that that's super good. I'll definitely take it more now. It's not just a thing to take for you know use it one turn. You can actually keep five gold in at least, and it'll be doing something. So that's that's great change for Piggy Bank. <laughs> 
much better treasure now. Phoenix Feather, I've had one game so far since the patch, I'll be honest, and I got Phoenix Feather on six and it was amazing. So I think that's a, I think that's a great idea. A great, like it is going to be strong, as they said, this will be very strong at level six and it is going to be very strong, but I think that's okay to have some strong things at six, isn't it? Yeah, that's, that's, that's a big change. Phoenix Feather always seemed like a kind of a bad seven. So making it a good six is a good thing, I think. Pandora's Box. I always took Pandora's Box. Um, every game I took Pandora's Box, even taking two brawls. So now that it, it does it after the next one, massive buff, I think. I, I literally always took this. And yeah, it's kind of rubbish getting a random tier seven. You know, you can't control what you get, but they're all pretty good. And, uh, you know, sometimes a six really fits your comp and you won't take the Pandora's Box, but now I'm pretty much always going to take it, I think. Yeah, huge potential. And they've cut Harvest Moon <laughs> because uh, Harvest Moon, Medusa's in front of a River Wash Mermaid was simply too frustrating to play against. That's fair. It was really fun doing it, but yeah, it was, yeah, it was very unfun against. Uh, they've made a lot of these kind of rubbish spells a bit cheaper. Um, Gigantify, Hugeify, Stone Skins got more health. Burning Palms got more attack. Flourish has got more health. Blessing of Athena costs three, and there you go. Spells want to be more appealing, and, and that's the thing. They're, they're hard to take because you're not improving your board. Well, I mean, you are with this, but the problem is, like, rolling and getting good characters to improve your board permanently is generally better than casting spells. And I know these are affecting them permanently, but they're still just... It's just hard for them to be better than rolling and getting characters. Cat Skull going to level four. That stops some frustrating losses, which is good. It was often too hard to beat, for sure, at level 3, so it shows up a bit later, that's good. It can be very annoying, Cat's Call. Mixer Whistle, thank God this got nerfed, this was crazy. As it said, transforming things like Cinderella into upgraded level 6s, yeah, it's stupid. So now they transform the character into a random character that is one level higher. So if you want an upgraded level 6, you've got to cast it on an upgraded level 5, which is good. And you can cast another spell this round, so you will randomly be able to mix a whistle something and then kiss it. So you will just randomly get that sometimes. So I think if you see an early mixer whistle, it's definitely worth take, like playing it. If you get, like you know on later levels, like level five, level six. If you get a mixer whistle in your initial shop, just play it, roll, and then maybe you can kiss later as well. Crazy. Fog. It's still going to be a bit rubbish. Um, reducing the attack to one instead of halving all of them. Because it is still before the combat, so if you turn somebody's, you know, um, Lady of the Lake into one attack, and then their good boy dies and gives it plus 20, it's still going to go up to 21, or plus 120. So it's it's still got that problem of it only affecting the initial thing, but it's going to completely ruin, like, Shadow Assassins, which is, which is beautiful, isn't it? Like, that's going to be pretty much an auto-take if anyone's got Shadow Assassins and stuff, because that's going to absolutely kill them. Um, and spell weavers as well, isn't it? So Loki and Genie's Wish. This is interesting. It, they can cast some targeted spells, and they will only come up when there are legal targets for them. So there you go. Magic research. That's one plus one that might stick. Sugar and spice is the plus one plus one for a good character. Which is bruise plus one plus one for an evil character. No idea what Luna's Grace is. <laughs> Flourish is the plus seven health for a. Uh, tree, isn't it? Worm root is plus three, plus three for a monster. Beauty's influence turns something good, plus four health. So that's, I mean, that's good. that was the main thing about Loki, right? Where Loki in the slay in the slay meter, he couldn't turn a shadow assassin good, whereas now he will randomly do it. Burning palm, uh, stone skin. That's four attack and health, isn't it? Merlin's test is quite a good one to randomly cast, I guess. Queen's great. That's the plus seven, plus seven, isn't it? So that's good if you've got Lancelot, because again, you couldn't ever trigger Lancelot reliably apart from. You know, certain situations. But one of the best ways to trigger Lancelot is giving him plus seven, plus seven, isn't it? But I'm not one of the best. One of the ways, and you could never do that. Now you'll randomly get it. <laughs> Gigantifying Hugh, but that can be a complete waste of a spell, to, honestly. Uh, knighthood could be really good, but then also you could just knighthood a chicken in your hand, couldn't it? Which wouldn't be great. And Or a good... <laughs> uh, and an evil twin. Yeah, it's all right, isn't it? I don't know. Like, the Evil Twin and Nighthood seem the best ones, and the rest seem a bit rubbish. But who knows? Um, 
it supports touch screens and there's been some bug fixes so there you go um yeah pandora's box will no longer have an interaction with mimic i did mimic a pandora's box before <laughs> um so there you go everything else not that exciting but there you go there are the bug fixes i'll put the link in the in the description so there you go thanks for watching um i'm gonna go and play some storybook brawl now so there you go don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic